Yeah, hi there. These comments are for SB, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, and you have completed, or you completed the free TOEFL speaking practice test evaluation, right? So if I remember correctly, you're answering, okay, when preparing for an exam, uh, uh, what is better, studying alone or studying with a group? Okay, so the first time, let's listen to the whole thing. I won't make any comments at all. Then the second time, I'm going to figure out, according to the TOEFL IBT rubrics, where your speaking task scores. Would I put it four, three, two, one, or zero? And then I will explain why. All right, good luck. I think that studying with a group is better from studying alone when are you preparing for an exam for many reasons first when you study with a group uh, and you have something difficult you can ask your friend and he can help you for example when i was at high school uh, i have this uh, history exam and i there's something was uh, there, there was something uh, hard for me so I asked my friend and he explained it for me. Uh, and the second reason uh, that I found it more exciting to study with a group than you study alone. I think that studying... Okay, so um, thank you for doing that practice test. Uh, I think here, I'm gonna put you in the two range here, just a little bit below three. Right, so let's listen to it one more time. And uh, the main thing is, is I have to consider three areas when I'm grading it. Uh, delivery, language use, and then topic development. So let's see how you're doing in these, in these three areas. I think that studying with a group is better from studying alone when are you preparing for an exam? It's better than studying alone, not when you are, when I am preparing. So uh, you have at least two language er uh, errors in there. That's the first seven seconds of your response. So more than, and then remember the inappropriate pronoun shifts. Uh, I would not use the you point of view, that second person point of view. Don't use it for independent or integrated speaking or writing tasks. You simply don't need that particular point of view. The question is asking based on your personal experience, right? So you can feel free to use I, me, or my, or if you want to use somebody else, you can use that third person uh, perspective. Some, for many reasons. Again, for many reasons, this is a topic development thing. You need a more specific introduction around which you can frame the body, the response. Just state what your two reasons are in the beginning and then use those two reasons as, as a structure of the rest of the response. First, when you study with a group uh, and you have some... I wouldn't say when you're studying. I would say when a student or when someone studies or when I study in a group. Difficult. You can ask your friend and he can help you. For example, when I was at high school, uh, I have this uh, history exam and I... This is a good example though. I like this. You're using a specific example to support a bigger idea. You will never go wrong by doing that. There's something was... Uh, there, there was something uh, hard for me. The problem here, this is a delivery problem. You sometimes have some pauses and some hesitations in there. Um, in this case, we're getting into awkward, uh, choppy rhythm or pace. That kind of describes what you're just doing right now, which is a something in the two area. So I asked my friend and he explained it for me. I asked my friend, I would say, who explained it to me? So if you use who, you're using a little bit more advanced grammar there. So you want to show that you're not limited in the range of structures that you're using, at least if you want to score higher. So I would use an adjective clause there. Uh, and 
the second reason uh, that I found it. Be careful those ums and as and you can do them to a certain extent, but remember for you, you're running out of time. You have only four seconds left and you're bringing up your second support point. You know there's no way that you can provide any supporting detail for that. More exciting to study with a group than you study alone. So I wouldn't even bring up that idea because once you bring up the idea of exciting, then you need to provide supporting detail for that idea, which you did not do. So that is a topic development uh, area. All right, so you said in the, in the email, you know, let me know what I need to improve on in order to get better, right? Okay, number one, delivery. There's a few things you want to improve on, which is focus in two main areas. You need to make improvements with your intonation. I think that's going to be helpful. You need a more natural sounding tone. Number two, you need to improve in what's called thought groups and blending, and particularly as you identify your thought groups, you want to blend the words within each of those thought groups, and that would definitely help you to score higher. Language use. There's at least two areas I think you can improve on in, in here, in your language use. Uh, number one, choose the appropriate point of view. Remember, in this case, don't use the you point of view. Use the first or the third person point of view. That's going to work better. The second area that you want to work on in the language use is you're limited a little bit in the grammar structure you're using. So you need to get more comfortable with combining sentences together. That means that you need to have better control over adjective clauses, adverb clauses, and noun clauses. In addition, you want to get a little more comfortable with the compound sentence and also the compound complex sentence. Okay, topic development. You need a little bit better organization so you have problems managing the time. You, you brought up two support points, but you didn't develop the second one. You didn't have a really sharp, sharply focused uh, introduction, so you definitely need to make some improvements in there. Uh, all right? So, like I said in the beginning, I feel that you'll probably score in the, in the two, maybe mid-range. I'm going to put you maybe 2.5 out of 4. I'll put you maybe uh, 19 points out of 30 approximately on this practice test. And thank you for doing the practice test. So, I offer this service for two reasons. Uh, number one, most importantly, is you can find your speaking level. So, if you're trying to get 26, on the speaking section of the TOEFL exam and you're, and you're wondering whether or not you're ready to take the TOEFL exam, you're not. So do not take the TOEFL exam. You will be wasting your money. Uh, number two, the second reason I offer this free service is you can see the kind of feedback I provide students who join my online TOEFL course. If you do decide to join my online TOEFL course, uh, I will allow you to do speaking practice daily, believe it or not, and I will listen and download your speaking practice test and I will give you comments exactly like I did right now. All right, have a good day.